Rob's World. Hey, what's up guys? It's Rob, and welcome to my tutorial for the... Spinning Windows. Today I'm going to show you how to make the spinning windows, which is a really cool type of modular origami model, which, as my subscribers know, means it's made up of a whole bunch of smaller units or pieces which slide or fit into one another, just like we did with the transforming ninja star. So we're going to need 12 pieces of square paper. Once we have the 12 sheets, we can then go on to make 6 water bomb bases and also 6 preliminary bases. Once these are made, we can combine them to make the unit and then interlock the 6 units to make the spinning windows. So let's get started. For paper, I'm going to be using these sheets. However, I'm going to show you how to make 4 squares out of a piece of letter size printer paper. Just like in my other videos, take the top edge, fold it across to the left side edge. Now you can make a firm crease, flip the paper over, and I like to fold the edge down until you could see this edge here and make another sharp crease along that edge so you could rip it off. So now that we have a square sheet, we can fold it in half this way and in half that way. Make really good creases along the top. And now we could tear it into four. And there you go. Now you have four pieces of square paper. And all you need to do is to do that for two more sheets. So I'm going to make the preliminary base right now out of this piece of paper. To do that, we're basically going to fold the corner across to the opposite corner, make a crease, do the same with the other side, so corner to corner again, and make another crease. And then we're going to open that up. You should see an X in the paper. We're going to fold the edge across to the other edge. And then do the same the other way. So take this edge and fold it across that way. Okay. So now we have a T and an X in the paper. We're going to fold the paper on one of the diagonal folds like this. Then, we're going to lift up the first layer just like this, and we're going to tuck this corner down to the bottom of the triangle, right here. So tuck this corner in, just like this, and then close these two flaps of the paper. Do the same with the other side. Open that, push that corner in, and then close these two flaps. And there you go. That's how to make the preliminary base. So that's done. Let's go ahead and make the water bomb base. It's basically the same fold, so let's go ahead and do that again. Corner to corner. Opposite corner to opposite corner. Unfold it. You'll see the X. Top edge to bottom edge. Open it up. Right edge to left edge. And then make the crease. Now, if you open it up, you see we have the same thing, the T and the X. To make the water bomb base, instead of folding on the diagonal, we're actually folding on a horizontal, like that, edge to edge. Then it's basically the same kind of thing. It's an inside reverse fold. So you open up the edge of the paper here and push this edge down, just like that, and squeeze those two flaps together. Do the same on the left side. Open it up. Push that in, and close the flaps. And there you go. Now we have the preliminary base and the water bomb base completed. All right guys, so you got the hard part out of the way, which is basically just the tedious job of making all of the bases. You should have six preliminary bases and six water bomb bases. So just like I said before, the preliminary base and the water bomb base are going to be joined together. The preliminary base is the one that's going to be on the outside. The water bomb base is the one that's going to be on the inside. So we're going to fit the water bomb base inside of the preliminary base, and then we're going to fold the corners of the preliminary base inwards to interlock them or combine them. So whatever color the preliminary base is is going to be the color that shows. Just take one of the preliminary bases and just hold it with the corners pointing towards you. And as you'll see, we have these two corners that are basically, they look like little V's, and they're sticking in 
to the center of the base. Take a water bomb base and you see we have the same thing here. Here is the V that's basically sticking inwards. And we're going to fit this V of the water bomb base into the V of the preliminary base. Just like that. And then we're going to do the same with the other side. So just take this part and just pop it right in between those two flaps of the water bomb base, just like that. All right? So now they're seated in one another. And now you can close up the preliminary base and hold it on the side and just make sure that these edges are aligned. As you'll see, mine aren't, so just kind of push down like that. And you'll see now it's seated properly. All we need to do now is to fold these corners into the middle of the water bomb base. So just open it like this and you'll see we want to fold this corner right on top of the edge of the water bomb base. So just take it and fold it in right there on the edge and just make a crease. Don't make it too sharp. You'll see why later. Do the same with the other corner. So as before, fold it on the edge and give it a good crease. Do the same with the other one. And of course, give it a little fold. Do the same with the last one. Fold it in on the edge and give it a nice little crease. So all you need to do is to just collapse it again, just like that. And there you go. You've made one of the units. So let's go ahead and make another one. I'm gonna grab a preliminary base. I'm going to grab a water bomb base. Again, I'm going to hold it with the points facing towards me. Placing the blue water bomb base inside of the red preliminary base, I make sure that it's seated as well as possible. I then go ahead to squish it down and to fold in all four corners of the preliminary base inside the water bomb base. Then I squeeze the water bomb base and there's your second unit. Yeah. Alright guys, so you can go ahead and make the rest of them. I'm going to speed up the video, but I'll go ahead and make them right now. There's number three. Done. Number four. That's done. Number five is done. And number six is completed now. And there we go. We have all six units. Okay, so now we're going to interlock the six units, and I'm not going to lie, it can be a little bit frustrating and tricky. So I'm going to go through it slowly so that you guys can kind of figure it out. But a lot of it you're going to have to try to figure out yourself. It's almost like a puzzle. We have to put the pieces together, okay? What we will be doing is taking a look at the unit, and you'll notice that it has a tip here, and wrapped around the tip we have these little pockets or sleeves. So we're basically going to be joining each of the tips together. So we could take two different units, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to slide one tip underneath into the other tip, just like this. And then we're going to align the edges and you're going to try to slide the one that's on top into the one that's on the bottom, just like that. As you'll see, it's sliding in. So then we're going to take another one, and now we have two free tips here, okay? So we're going to take another unit, and we're going to join these two tips with those two tips. So hold it here. We're going to take one. It doesn't matter which uh, you join. You could put this one on top or this one on top. So let's say I want to put this one on top. I would just slide the yellow one into the other one there and then align the edges and then try to slide that underneath. Now if this isn't going in, what you need to do is you need to just kind of grab the edges here and twist it like this. And that'll give you a little opening like that so that you can take the edge, the corner, and you can slide it in like there, right there. Okay, so now we have to join this tip to that one. Same thing, doesn't matter what you choose. I'm gonna take the red one and I'm gonna put the yellow one into it and slide the red underneath there. As you'll see, it's not really going in, 
So what I can do is I can twist the yellow like that, and there you go. Now I opened it up a little. So right on the edge there you could push, and there you go. Now you'll see we have a triangle. You want to look out for these triangles. That's what you're trying to design. So we finished three different pieces, and I'm not going to lie, the last three pieces are the trickiest to get in. Because we have three different colors, I think it looks the nicest if we put um, the opposite color, so the other blue piece, opposite the uh, current blue piece. So let's put it in right over here. And again, we're just going to take the blue piece, and we're going to slide. And just uh, slide the blue tip in here and give it a little bit of a tap. Okay. So the other blue piece goes in something like that. Okay. The red piece is going to go over here. So let's try to get the red piece in. It actually is easier if you tap on it a little bit. Sometimes that'll help you get the piece in. So let's try to get the yellow piece in now. Having a little bit of difficulty. And of course, if you can't slide it in, you can lift this up just a little bit by kind of twisting it. What you could do if you're really stuck is to unfold that corner that you tucked into the water bomb base, slide the piece in, and then you'll see you're just going to have to re-tuck that corner back underneath into the water bomb base. And that's another way that you can do it. Okay. So, as you'll see, these two need to get connected now. So let's try to get these two pieces in. I'll try to lift it up on the right side and still having a little bit of difficulty. But, but it looks like... There we go. All right, so we just have four tips left and one piece. I also recommend that you apply tape to each of the units where they connected so that they don't pop out when you're trying to put in the last piece. So we have one unit left and we have to get it onto these four tips of the other units. It's gonna look just like this yellow unit when it's done, connected to four other pieces. So the thing is, it's very tricky. This is the trickiest part. So let's try with one first. And what I'm going to do, just the same thing we've been doing, sliding it into the other unit. And there's one. Okay. I'm actually not going to tuck it in all the way. Alright. Let's do the next one next to it. Okay. There's two. There's three. And for the last one. There it is. Okay. So now we just have to go back and make sure that the other ones are tucked in all the way. That's really the hardest part. Alright guys, so once you've gotten everything tucked into each other, I know it's not that easy, but you will eventually get it. It might take 10, One, 20 three. times, but don't worry about it. You're going to do it, alright? Now the best way to make this, the spinning window spin is to kind of hold it, one in your palm like this, the other one gently with the other palm, and you could blow right in the corner here like this. or turn it that way. Either way, it's really cool. It's a nice model. You can even hang it and let it blow in the wind if you want to. And as always, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment in the comment section below and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed, subscribe by clicking the button. I think it's down there now in red if you haven't subscribed. And it should be silver if you are subscribed. Until then, I'll see you next time. Leela. What is it with you and that couch? I told you I was going to make the spinning windows today. 
Say bye. Bye. Yeah.